You think you know what we're going to talk about. But unfortunately, I fell down a damn rabbit hole and I've not gotten out yet. <laughs> Knife bros. I literally googled Sebastian Stan hands. But just when you least expect it, we changed the game. Well, yeah, because like, usually in astrology, they would partner up air signs with fire signs. All right, you can, you can huggle. Time travel stories. and At the end of the day, only one thing matters. We decide. Well, we should make it a topic. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't take German in school. I barely took, I took Spanish and I don't remember any of it. Three Fates Decide podcast. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Three Fates Decide. My name is Sam, and I'm here with my two co-hosts, Liz and Mary. Say hello, ladies. Hello. hello. Uh, tonight, we are going to be talking about phobias. Uh, last week's episode was our big spooky Halloween one where we kind of talked about some scary things and, and all that, and we figured kind of leading into uh, phobias and, um, you know, obviously many people have different kinds of phobias. There are some uncommon ones and obviously very common ones. And I just learned today what my irrational fear is called. I, I don't remember what it is. So Mary, I hope you do. <laughs> um, but yeah, I have it. Don't worry. We're okay, good. good. <laughs> but yeah. So we're going to go, go through what many people deal with on a daily basis and talk about the most common and uncommon phobias. Uh, first, let's, I guess, talk about what is a phobia, um, which is basically a fear um, and, and a type of anxiety that really kind of takes over um, our lives. And, uh, uh, what a phobia is, it's a, uh, it's kind of, um, it's almost an irrational fear or anxiety about something. However, it's, it is considered a mental, mental disorder. It is diagnosed, it is diagnosable. So there, there is things you can do. You can, uh, if you have any of these phobias and I promise you, if you hear us laughing, laughing at the fact that that people have these phobias it's kind of how we deal with or at least it's how i deal with my phobias some, some of my phobias that i'll that i'll be talking about for myself personally is we are not being um disingenuous when we when we're speaking of whatever phobia is but approximately in the united states i don't know the list for the world but for the United States, about 19 million people, or just a little over 8% of the total population, suffers from a phobia of some sort. Some suffer with more, and they have varying levels of severity. And women are nearly twice as likely to be affected by a, of a, for a phobia, to have a phobia, than men. And they tend to manifest in early to mid-childhood, so around the age of 7 to maybe 10 is when most people develop their phobia or phobias. Just depends. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you think about it, you can kind of see maybe something, not necessarily traumatic, but something that happens in your childhood that, like, brings it to attention. You know, that, that actually makes a lot of sense. Yes, exactly. So let's, uh, let's go over some of the most common phobias, I think, first. Yeah. Because I'm sure... One or more, uh, I already know, like I have, um, and I'm sure some of you who are listening have it as well. Yes. Some of the more common phobias that most people are, will recognize is obviously claustrophobia, the, the fear of confined spaces. I actually have this phobia. It is mm -hmm. a, it's a very, mine is a more mild form. I, I don't. I don't get like the panic attacks where I don't feel like I can breathe in an ele in a crowded elevator or something, but I don't like being in like a crowded elevator or in a crowded space. It, it I, I just, cause you'll, you'll see me kind of like, I try to stay, I would prefer to be in the front if I'm going to be in anything like that. So I have a clear way of getting out if I need to. 
Yes, I agree. Um, I mine is the same where I don't really have the panic attacks in the elevator or some or you know the uh, uh packed you know with you know people. Mm-hmm. Um, but I actually figured out that I had this issue when I was going for an MRI mm-hmm. and it was actually for my hip so they put me in feet first and for anyone that's had an MRI you go into like this little tube and it's it's very very tight and they didn't even put me in all the way I was in enough that like part of my face was being covered and like you can't move and just having that mm-hmm. closeness like I I had at least two two panic attacks while laying there that they actually had to stop the MRI because I was like freaking out. And mm. that's kind of when I figured it out like hmm yeah, no this isn't normal. <laughs> like yeah. That. <laughs> so that was the only time I've had like a panic attack though. But like being in like, you know, a crowded elevator or like, you know, an airplane with a lot of people or something like that, like I'm just uncomfortable. I need to know that I have a way out. Yeah. The deal. Yeah, that that's pretty much mine. Um another very common one is arachnophobia, which is obviously fear of spiders. That's me too. I don't actually have arachnophobia. That's one of the one of the few common ones that I don't have. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I was I was being kind of silent. Um yeah, I don't really have um yeah, I, I don't have either of those fears. Um, as I, as I think about, it. especially when you were you guys were describing about how like you weren't necessarily a full blown panic attack, but you know you just don't like being crowded all that much. And I kind of realized that. Yeah, I don't care. I kind of real like thinking about. I realize I I kind of don't care about that, and I also kind of don't care about uh, spiders that much. I mean. I don't particularly love spiders or anything, but, you know, I usually will leave it alone as long as it's not crawling near me or anything, because I'm like, go away. Go away. Well, Um, when it comes to spiders for me, if the spider is outside, he is just fine. He can stay outside. That's where he lives. If the spider is in my house, the spider is probably going to die. Yeah, yeah. It's more likely I'm going to squish it or or I'm just be like, "Yeah, go away already." Just yes. just just go. Just 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 go. Yeah. There's a That's few me. that are in my basement. I'm just like, I'll see them and I'm like, "You know what? Just go just, just go somewhere else. You can live just go anywhere else but here." I turn and run away, screaming, the crazy person. Don't ever come to my house in the fall. Then. <laughs> no, no, I I I see them and I freeze. Like I, I absolutely freeze. Like they, yeah. me, they all have fangs, and they're going to eat me. Yeah, like I said, don't, don't, don't ever come to my house in the fall. Then I'm getting because chills gets, already. Well, yeah, because it gets cold, and unfortunately, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll leave it there. Yeah, moving on because I'm, I'm sweating. Yeah, we're, we're not going to talk about that one anymore. Um. Now I'm going to butcher this next name and I've unless Sam can pronounce it. It's the fear of snakes. My mother has this fear. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try that one. I think it's Ophilodiophobia. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it is a fear of snakes. My my mother to my mother all snakes are the only good snake is a dead snake. So I, that's another fairly large fear. I don't necessarily have a fear of snakes. I just don't like snakes. I mean, if they're in my house, I'm going to get them out. But I'm not like going to, I don't run screaming from them. My mother does. Yeah, I I don't think I would run screaming, but I would probably like back away from them just because I don't know what kind it is. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't know, is it the bitey kind or not? So I wouldn't be, like, running away screaming, but I would cautiously try to, like, you know, walk away from it and leave it alone so it'll leave me alone. Like, we we just mutually leave each other alone. You slither your way, I will back 
you know, my way. I'll we're all do good. Fine. <laughs> it's like you stay over there and I'll stay over here and we're, we'll live just fine. I mean, as long as it's not a poisonous snake, I don't really care. Well, 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 that's just the thing is that a lot of times we wouldn't know what kind of a snake it is. So it's like we can't really judge one way or another. So it's always just better to uh, cautiously stay away from them and they will stay away from us because they probably think we're big, scary giants, you know? Mm -hmm. Um. So if we just mutually go away from each other, then everybody's happy. But I wouldn't be like running away screaming or anything like that. Yeah, true. Yeah. It's more of like, I mean, it's kind of the same reaction I have with spiders. It's like, I just, well, if it's a teeny tiny spider, then obviously it wouldn't do anything. And most spiders can't actually do anything to you. But it's more like, uh, I will leave you alone if you leave me alone. So let's mutually agree to leave each other alone and get away from each other and that's it i mean i would never live like in florida strictly because of the amount of snakes and alligators and stuff down there well the southwest isn't that much better either about well, snakes to go in there either <laughs> um, yeah, like, North I remember... is kind of my place to be yeah, like, yeah i mean because like i don't remember like there was some video like about you know animals that may be potentially dangerous in the in in the U.S. And they mentioned some kind of statistic where, like, in the South, Southwestern states, you're statistically more likely to get bitten by a poisonous snake. There's also another common one is cyanoph cyanophobia, which is the fear of dogs. Puppies. And puppies, yes. So cute. Thank goodness I do not have this fear. Thank cool. God I do not so have this cool. fear. I have the opposite of this fear. Me too. <laughs> I, 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 it's like, I see a doggy. A doggy! Yeah. It's a puppy! Actually, um, I do kind of have a fear of dogs, actually. It's mostly because um, my next door neighbors basically kind of traumatized me. <laughs> um regarding dogs because i don't know if it if they were intentionally trying to raise their dog to be kind of a guard dog or if they're just bad at training their dog but the dogs that they've owned um have been very uh reactive towards like anybody that gets any that's like gets anywhere near their property which, as you can imagine, as a next-door neighbor is uh, really frustrating to deal with. So every single time, like, I remember when I was a very young child, back to, like, what you were saying earlier about how uh, phobias get created when you're a kid a lot of times. Um, this, their, their first dog, it would, like, bark and growl really aggressively at me. And you imagine, like, I'm, like, not even old enough to go to kindergarten yet, and this is, like every time and this dog is like i mean it's not like one of those like giant mastiffs or, or anything but you know you imagine a really little kid and you know a medium to somewhat large size just a dog is gonna look pretty even bigger <laughs> to you so you know that that just like basically made me like i need to, i need to stay away from from these dogs especially like if it's a bigger dog because i'm like oh my god is it gonna like attack me is it gonna try to bite me i mean yeah it's just made me extremely wary of them now and i'm you know which is kind of frustrating and a little sad really because it's like now how i have to really kind of force myself to interact with uh dogs if i'm like say visiting somebody um somebody's house or something and they have a dog i kind of have to like make myself um like feel relaxed and not act too bothered about it yeah that's a struggle i'm actually shocked i'm not scared of dogs only because like i actually got bit badly when i was younger but i think at the time i did have a dog so i knew it wasn't like common thing 
And I also knew, like, that dog was actually put down not long after because it was sick. It was kind of like, yeah. you know, maybe that's why, like, I, I don't know. But, like, yeah, no, it, like, tore my hand to shreds. It was bad. Hmm. It was a golden I... retriever, which, of course, is what I had, too. I'm like, oh, there you go. That, that works. I have been very, very lucky that I've never been attacked by a dog. I've been attacked by a cat that left a uh, bite and scratch marks on the top of my head, but I have no fear of dogs or cats. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, I, I didn't grow up in a household where I um, I had like pets or anything. I mean, my parents didn't want them in the house because they're like, oh, we have to clean up after it. It's going to scratch up the furniture, blah, 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 blah. So um, we weren't, my brother and I weren't allowed to like have those kind of pets. I mean, when he was younger, he had a hamster and I was allowed to have fish and things like that. But no, if it's furry and can walk around and like poop every pit, like poop anywhere in theory, then no, it is not allowed in this house. So eh, that's, that's the nice thing about growing up on a farm. <laughs> <laughs> what are the nice things? We always had dog, and we only have one cat now. We don't have a dog, but God, we need a dog. Just keep waiting for my daughter to get a little bit older and maybe just a little bit less destructive and rough, and maybe we can get it. Maybe we can get a dog again someday. Let's move on. The next one that the next two are kind of, kind of almost go hand in hand with each other. We have acrophobia which is a fear of heights we have aerophobia which is a fear of flying yeah i know a lot of people that have that yeah i'm not one of them but i don't um, like flying mm -hmm. but don't i'm not afraid of flying right i do have a slight acrophobia i do have a slight fear of heights it's yes. kind of like my it's kind of like my claustrophobia i can deal if it's if i'm a pie i just would prefer not to be a pie well, like you and i were saying i have more of a fear of falling from yes. a height and let me i can actually probably find that one again i don't even remember what it was yeah i totally have acrophobia i can't stand heights um i don't know i mean like i think as i've gotten older actually my acrophobia is probably worse because um I've I've occasionally experienced like uh, vertigo for other reasons that has nothing to do with acrophobia, and I think the anxiety of being up really high uh, just just makes makes the whole thing worse because um, it it gets it starts getting very disorienting, and I I'm concerned that like I may actually fall, which is what you were kind of bringing up as well. Uh, Sam about like the fear of falling and it's like I'm legit concerned that if I get too anxious being up really high somewhere that I am going to get dizzy and fall and that is not a good place to be falling from yeah and the fear of falling is called is is a base of base of phobia right climbing up on stuff because I'm terrified of falling right and I probably have that because I've broken too many bones in my life and I just don't want to do that anymore yeah, I broke my arm three times. The dog broke it once. I broke it twice. The dog broke it once. And it was because I fell twice. And then the dog pulled me over once. You know, yeah, the funny thing you were mentioning before about aerophobia, it's like, I totally have acrophobia. And yet, it, I'm not actually bothered by flying, oddly enough. Yeah, and not every, like I said, not everybody has both fears, but they do right. tend to kind of somewhat go hand in hand. Yeah. Or they they very well easily could. I could see someone having a fear of both. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I, it, it totally makes sense that you could have both. It's just that, like, for me, I'm one of those people where, like, I am definitely, mm -hmm. I definitely have the acrophobia, but I am not bothered by flying. I think what it is is that it's the fact that when I'm flying, I'm inside an airplane, and it's more or less, you know, in my mind, at least, I'm secure. And it's not like this. It's not like the same as if I'm like standing on a cliff, and there's like no barriers or anything. So it's both. Well, I guess I guess now that now I think about it, it is a combination of both acrophobia and the falling thing. 
as well to some degree. Mm -hmm. So, which could be why I'm not that scared of flying because when I'm flying, I'm in, you know, an airplane or whatever. And it's like, I'm pretty securely in the airplane. I'm not going anywhere per se. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, that's, that's how I feel too. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, also like if I know like I'm on a balcony and the barrier is up pretty, you know, higher than like waist level, then, you know, I'm somewhat more comfortable uh, in that situation. But oh my gosh, the, just a brief story. It, it, when I was like visiting Yellowstone a few years, years ago, you know, there's like a lot of these like really amazing views that, you know, you can be in your car and you stop at this spot where like you can get amazing views and take pictures and stuff. Some of those stops I couldn't I couldn't go all the way like some of my the rest of my family could because I'm like, oh my God, this is like we're at a cliff. There's no barriers. There's like just a drop. No, no. Those are some of the more common phobias that people tend to have. Yeah, I mean, there's there's more than just those, but yeah, there's the people... fear of obviously like the dark or the dentist or right. I I should say there's there's one more that is pretty well, two more that are pretty uh I guess more common than anything, especially right now. The one would be right now would be the uh, trypanophobia. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I mentioned that fear one. of fear of injections which we yeah. have a lot of surrounding the vaccine. vaccine that is going on right about now. Which makes me wonder, is it re are you really terrified of needles or just saying that? Well, there's actually a fear of vaccines, which is called vaccinophobia. I mean, yeah, I mean, with vaccines, it's like, to me, yeah. obviously, from my perspective, it feels a little, it sounds bizarre, but, you know. Now we're going to kind of go into a, a list of the uncommon uncommon phobias so much or um some of some of the phobias that we may have that have not been specified here so far sam one of your first ones is called galeanophobia <laughs> which is a fear of sharks the truth people it's real i st so i know i've talked about this a couple of times right so mm -hmm. as a kid saw jaws and Ever since then, even though as an adult, I understand it's a movie, it, you know, it was fake, whatever, but it's based off of real events, one of them being in my freaking town. And like, it is obviously like a possibility, like people do get attacked by sharks, not necessarily a man eating shark that just like attacks people for fun. But, you know, I've had nightmares. I still have nightmares. As an adult like the other night actually i woke myself up from a nightmare about sharks so it's it is real i get you know the the uh, heart pounding you know the sweats the nightmares the craziness i still have a, a a nightmare that i remember as a child where i was at the beach down the street from my beach house new jersey and i was young mm -hmm. and i'm on the beach but i knew that there was a, a shark in water that wanted to to get me and I was running to try and get away from him and I wound up in like my parents car and every time I tried to back up the car was going closer to the water and it was like you know, the water was just getting closer and closer so I was getting and I couldn't get out and it was like hardcore like I woke up I think hysterically crying um but it's something that I still remember because it was such a you know a traumatic uh dream for me so it's real same and that's that that's a very real real fear and it is a very uh it's an uncommon one to have but especially since you can avoid sharks altogether by just not going into the ocean but it doesn't matter yeah exactly <laughs> but it, it, uh, yeah but you know it does get kind of weird if you have this fear and you are like nowhere near the ocean whatsoever <laughs> i'm sorry yeah, I mean, yeah i mean if you like live in like kansas or oklahoma or somewhere like that it's like where where are these sharks that you're afraid of okay where that's what i want to know yeah now uh, i have a fear and it is there's two different names for it you can either call it melissophobia or apiophobia and it is a fear of bees slash bee stings 
And it is due to very negative traumatic experiences that I have had with bees in my life. Like I was around nine or 10. I can't quite remember at this point. Um, I was outside summer day. I'd walked out to the pool and I was standing there and I had, I had my arm out and I had lifted it up to go to like scratch my head or something. And there was a yellow jacket landed on my arm. And when I lifted it up, it stung me. And ever since that day, every time I go outside, especially during the summer and the, the fall, especially I have been attacked by a yellow jacket, not been stung ever since, but I get attacked by them every time I walk outside my house. You must have a sign on your back or something. I, something. And I mean, I don't <laughs> use, I use unscented shampoo. I use unscented deodorant. I use unscented lotions in the, in the summertime, you know, so I don't use anything that has a scent in it to make me smell like a flower or anything sweet go outside and it's like they're just like they dive bomb me the hell and and wasps i mean which is obviously a a bee but those things they could they could die and wasps could disappear off the face of the planet and i would be okay with that i i do not see what they what they uh contribute i know they do honestly but at the same time like i don't see what they contribute have did you guys hear? I think it was like last year. It's kind of a little, a little off topic, but kind of on topic too, about the uh, Japanese hornets that were found oh, yeah, in. Her. Yeah, the murder hornets. Yeah, the yes, the murder hornets. My cousin's uh, brother has one in a jar that he found in Ohio. Wait, yeah. seriously? Less than like, like less than twenty miles away from my house. Did he report it though? Hmm. Yep. Because my dad, he he first said they were the killer bees. So I thought it was just the Africanized honeybees. I'm like, well, I knew they were in the United States. I didn't know they were this far north. They were that far. They were this far north because it gets so cold here. But no, he said, this thing is like two inches long. I'm like, oh, you mean the Japanese hornets? Yeah, I was uh, Mm -hmm. working in New York City. I was actually in Soho at the time at one of my... uh locations and Mm -hmm. pretty sure i saw one of them on a car wow and i just walked very quickly away yes like i'm not going near you (laughs) first of all you're huge and (laughs) (laughs) i mean i already have a i already have a fear of bees i don't need murder hornets in this area yeah like seriously like i was like all right so i'm in new york city during covid which was the hot spot and now there's there's a possible killer bee right like two feet away from me Uh, no (laughs) yep no i i I withdraw from society at that point (laughs) i'm going home (laughs) locking myself up yes yes oh Oh. my god that's just no so here's an uncommon phobia that you know i joke that i have the opposite of this phobia it's called Plutophobia, and it's not a fear of the planet Pluto. It is actually a fear of wealth, and yeah. I absolutely I have the opposite of this. Same. Um, but it, it's they they say it's more the uh, the person uh, dreads the responsibility that comes with being wealthy, and they're afraid of being targeted because of their wealth. So they're you know mm-hmm. like it's that I kind of get. Um, but I, 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 I'll take money. I want money. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. we all want money. Yeah. We yeah. all want money. Give me money. Another one that is, uh, it's, it's a common one, but at the same time, it's probably, it's not as common as some of the others that we, that we mentioned is astrophobia, which, or astrophobia, I'm sorry, which is a fear of thunder and lightning. My grandmother had this fear. As she god rest her ever loving soul but that woman was terrified of thunder and lightning to the point where if she could have crawled out of her skin i think she would have done it that is how terrified of it she was yeah my sister's 
terrified of thunder and lightning too i don't know if she has like a phobia type i she may have it but not like as bad as your grandmother yeah, no i mean my, my, my grandmother was it, it was an irrational fear i mean it, it was i shouldn't say it's irrational fear because she lived in alabama and they had tornadoes down there there, mm. That was always the big fear of um, the thunderstorms would, be, would become into a tornado, would turn into a tornado, which I, I completely that. understand in that in that regards. But living up here, Ohio, very rare do we ever. I mean, not saying that we've never had them up here, but it's very rare that we have enough flat area for tornadoes. I mean, I can't say anything because it was only what two months ago that a huge tornado came down in Jersey. So. Yeah. I didn't think that was possible. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't call, I don't know if I would call it really a, pho I actually have that phobia, but, um, well, actually, mm, probably maybe not because if I'm indoors, I don't mind it so much. I'm more concerned about the thunder and lightning when I'm outside. <laughs> um, that's that, where that, I get that. that, that, that that's yeah. not necessary. I wouldn't consider that a phobia. I would just consider that smart. <laughs> yeah because uh yeah because weirdly <laughs> enough i don't live very far away from flushing meadows park which um most people would know as the big you know the where the world's fair in new york was held and has the big mm -hmm. unisphere and stuff like that there's plenty of areas in that park where people play soccer and i remember hearing one time when there was a thunderstorm that came through this area there were people still outside in the park that were playing soccer when all of a sudden this thunderstorm came through the area. Like, at least two or three of the guys got struck by lightning. And this was just a few miles from my house. So it's like, mm, no, I don't want to be outside when this happens. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Let me go in. Let me go indoors. Yeah, I, but that, that's just being smart. That's, that's not necessarily so much a fear. As it is just um, common sense, I would say. <laughs> if it's thundering and lightning, you go indoors. Like the fear, like my grandmother had, and to an extent, like Sam's sister has. It's that fear that you're gonna that something's gonna happen to you even indoors. I I do not have this fear. Here's a here's a mean one. I don't like this one. Uh, Pacophobia. It's the fear of ugliness. I can't help but feel like that's targeted. That's just being that there's that, a bit of yeah. rudeness in there. Yeah, yeah, right? Like you know what? Yeah. What makes because something I, ugly? Yeah. I, I I honestly think it's tied into body dysmorphia. Yeah. I, I honestly I honestly do think that it's it's tied into body dysmorphia for a lot of for a lot of people. What about uh gamophobia, the fear of marriage? You know, that's real to some some people. Yes, I know. I know people like that have that fear. I, I'm. I may be one of these. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I really don't actually have that phobia. But I, I know some people that have this next phobia that have another phobia that's in the G's. Gyroscophobia, fear of growing old. <laughs> yeah, I actually have that. I, I'm. Not, I'm not gonna lie. Well, no, I don't have that. I have a fear of death. There's actually there is actually um a word a name for that one. Here we go. It's uh anatope. Yeah. Anatophia. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thanos. Anatophia. <laughs> yeah. Than Maybe that's why his name was Thanos. <gasps> Sorry. Thanatophobia. 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 Yeah. Topia. Yeah. It's the fear of death or dying. That I have. That yeah, I've actually right. caused myself panic attacks thinking about dying. I don't like the thought of life going on without me i literally have the full-blown fear which is fun like most people don't think about that i sometimes like i'll just be sitting and like if i'll just think about it like there's gonna be a day that i'm not here and i get myself all worked up to a panic attack that is um sad it is very sad that is sad i am very i i am very sad for you yeah i i don't um, know i have telephobia Fear of definite plans and testophobia, fear of taking tests. God, yes. But I think most most people have that one. Turophobia, fear of cheese. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just kind of confused. What's scary about cheese? <laughs> I don't know. They're lactose intolerant. Hey, 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 hey! I was gonna say, Liz, aren't Liz? Aren't you lactose intolerant anyway? You should be terrified of cheese. 
No, they're delicious. Cheese is delicious. Dude. No, you want to know what gets me are the ones that's like the fear of like a color. Like, really? Yeah. Or there's or, actually one it's a fear of color. Well, my, my daughter does not have this 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 fear I'm going to say. Or I'm going to attempt to butcher. I'm going to butcher the name. Poor pyrophobia. Fear of the color purple. That is my daughter's absolute favorite color. She just not have this fear. Hold on, I found one. It was actually the fear of color, which is just uh, the fear of colors. Chromophobia. That's just sad. That is sad. I think that's worse than mine. I, I, I have a slight ornithop ornithophobia. Fear of birds. Is it Alfred Hitchcock's fault? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is, actually. Uh... <laughs> But um, God, that's a good movie. I actually have a, a fear of teenagers. Everybody fears teenagers. Is it just because they're little assholes? Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, my Chemical Romance even has the song "Teenagers Scare the Living Shit Out of Me," <laughs> and it's true. <laughs> yeah, they can be the worst sometimes, aren't they? <laughs> they can. Like, I just I work with them too too much and sometimes i'm just like you know what i can't with you guys it's like it's almost like sometimes you wonder like how did you how did you yourself survive being a teen <laughs> well and then oh my god i hope i wasn't like this when i was a teenager oh no i can only imagine what my daughter's gonna be like because i remember myself as a teenager and it was not pretty it was not pretty oh this one's sad and this one is probably part of or it's definitely part of like body dysmorphia obesophobia it's the fear of gaining weight yeah that's know. definitely the body dysmorphia one which is extreme that is that is sad that is extremely sad like i said we may we may be laughing at some of these but we are not in any way well, listen um, you have a fear you have a fear i mean look at exactly. what my fear is i have a fear of freaking sharks to the point that like i have nightmares yes that's i have uh phobophobia fear of photographs oh Phobia. <sighs> you have a fear of phobias, but you yourself have a phobia. So, are you afraid of yourself? <laughs> yes. I, I, I don't. There's right? actually like, wouldn't fear... that kind of mess with you? But there's actually that fear. There's a fear of self. Oh yeah. There, there really is, and I don't know what I don't remember what it is now. I had it, and I don't know what oh, it is. These, these poor people. Fear of Halloween. I know. Not a good, was, not a good time. Yeah, they're 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 really having a bad time right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Xenophobia, that I know is uh unfortunately uh, strangers. strangers or foreigners. Yeah. We I think people use lot. that a little too yes. easily. Like I can understand strangers, you know. Uh mm -hmm. but I think that term is used a little loosely these days. Yes. Um Zemiphobia, fear of the great mole rat. Huh? Mm -hmm. There, there, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm dead serious. It's called Zimmyphobia. Fear of the Great Mole Rat. Oh my god. I, I mean, granted, mole rats are, they are a little disconcerting. But at the same time, they're fairly small and they're not common. Um, at least not around here. So maybe it's somewhere, I don't really know. But people have that fear of mole rats. And I'm like, okay. Octophobia, the fear of the figure eight. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying so hard not to you know not to laugh, but if you know, if it was like the fear of octopuses or something, that I kind of get that because they are kind of weird looking, but you know, the actual figure eight. I'm like confused about this. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, now I have to look up to see if there is an actual fear of octopuses. <laughs> and what would that be called? <laughs> exactly. That's why I'm looking it up. I could honestly picture there there being people who are afraid of like you know squids and octopus and stuff like that because they are very yeah. disconcerting looking to some people, and you know they can mm -hmm. grow pretty big. Some of them. Um. That would be known as a cephalophobia. It's a fear oh, yeah, of cephalopods, true. aka any member of the molluscan class, which is squid, octopus, or not a lie. I mean, you know, they do look weird, and you know, they got all these tentacles and things, and some species do grow like huge. Yeah. 
So it's the whole sea monster thing. So I kind of get it if you're uh, yeah. scared of those things, but it's like a figure eight. <laughs> I'm 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 confused. Sorry. Um, I find it very confusing, and I don't get it. Yeah, barophobia. It's the fear of gravity. Um, I I, I hate so people <laughs> that. Uh, gravity's a thing. We can't get rid of it. It's the only thing keeping you on the ground. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, are are they gonna have to live in outer space or something now? Because I mean, I I wouldn't mind that. I I want to go up there. I want to float around for a little bit. That'd be cut. That would be cool. And then I'll come back down. Boom. Yeah. Maybe it'll make me a little taller. Maybe. It happens. I was up there. He his twin was here. He came home. His his identical twin, and he was like a, a couple inches taller. I mean, he eventually came back down. Unfortunately. But, you know, because of gravity. Um, I do not have this fear. Planophobia. Fear of beds or going to bed. Do not have this fear. No, I actually enjoy my bed. I do too. I do I have this fear, fear though. Colorophobia. Fear of clowns. Yeah. I mean, I don't have it, but yeah. No, I have that one. And I know a lot of people do. And you can thank um, Stephen King for that. <laughs> Hello, Georgie. No, we're not going to go there. I, I Don't get me wrong. I've watched it. I, I've watched it a couple of times. But it freaks me the frick out every single time. And I'm just like, and I look to myself. I'm like, why do I watch this? Why am I torturing myself? <laughs> but it's so good. Oh, God. There's, it's such a good movie. Personally, I like the um, 90s version better than the new one. That's just me. I think it yeah, had well, to do uh, with well, because uh, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Tim oh, uh, Curry. Uh, yeah, no, Tim Tim Curry. 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 Tim Curry. He was uh, amazing. Yeah. No, I. Yeah, I, I think that's not think... that. Not that. Um, what's his name? Who just did it now? Wasn't good. He was. Oh yeah, Bill Skarsgård. Skarsgård. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like he was. Say, he was I like phenomenal. saying phenomenal. Oh, he I was, like, but I mean, yeah, Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Um, so this next one I don't have, but I can relate. And it's podophobia, and that's the fear of feet. I don't have a fear of feet. I just hate feet. Yeah. I think they're disgusting. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that, yeah. yeah, I hate feet. I hate it. Like, I, if anyone were to put my their feet on me, I would probably punch them in the face. Because, like, I, I don't have a fear of them. Like I said, they're just gross. Keep them away from me. Yeah, so you you really didn't like the um, that, uh -huh. yeah, you really uh -huh. didn't like that one, uh huh. You know how I, 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 yeah, we didn't have squirming because it's just gross. It's just I know. Gross. Well, I'm sorry. That was just not only is it gross, but that was just extremely disrespectful. Yeah, it. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's like it's gross, and it's also kind of weird, right? Like, I don't get people who have feet mm. fetishes, which apparently this person does. Yeah, I'm like she's, she's I, all about her feet. You nasty, nasty. But there's no need to be sh rubbing them and poking somebody in the head with them. It's just weird, disgusting. Yes. Um, the this only, one I just the only <laughs> that don't bother me at the moment are my daughters. Yeah. No. Mm. 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 Nope. Mm. Mm. Baby feet the... because they're tiny and they're cute and like they're constantly clean. But uh, yeah, anything older than a baby you're like i'm done uh, get them away from me <laughs> yeah. well i guess it's because i'm just i'm used to it, right you know because I mean? that's a kid yeah but for the most part i mean obviously i don't like them i i'm not crazy about feet but i don't hate feet either i'm just it's just one of those yeah i don't have a fear of them obviously i mean i can yeah. look at my feet um but i just think they're gross yeah I mean, I can touch feet. That's no problem. I can touch mine. That's it. I don't like touching other people's feet. Keep your feet away from me. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I like I said, I can touch my feet without gloves, and I can touch my daughter's feet without gloves. Anybody else's feet, I da you damn well better have a pair of gloves for me to look touch it if you want mm -hmm. me to touch it. I, um, I, I, I have to because I because of the gentleman I help take care of. So, 
Yeah, no, I get that. I yeah. get that. Listen, clearly, uh, I, yeah, clearly you're never going to work in uh, day spas uh, doing <laughs> pedicure. Uh, day spas, podiatrist office. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Especially podiatrist offices. Uh-uh. Those poor people. You know what? No, I don't feel bad for them because they signed up for that, but uh, no. Um. Idea phobia, fear of new ideas or thoughts. My God, there's poor people that I, I, I love people. when I have an idea. There, there's people that have that fear. My God, I am. Oh, my. That, that, that's sad. You ready? I think I have the winner and the night. I don't think you're ready. I'm ready. Peridophobia. Per it's a fear of ferns, as in the plant. Yes. Fern. Not just all plants, just ferns. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. Right? Yeah. I mean, winner. That's uh, an odd one. It is an odd one. That 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 is an odd one. I'm trying to see. Uh, Wiccaphobia, fear of witches and witchcraft. Because they don't uh, like Halloween either. Uh, I guess not. Uh, it would definitely not like Wandavision. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> <laughs> or Hocus Pocus. Yeah, this this one is pretty this one's pretty good. Uh microphobia, fear of small things. I feel like I know someone that has that. Does that include like small people? So like would they be scared of me cuz I'm short? Probably. I mean like I'm not like abnormally short. I'm like over uh, I'm five. Getting there. I'm I'm 5'2". I'm, I'm barely over 5 foot. My sister's 4'7". Yeah, then they're definitely terrified of your sister. <laughs> She's so tiny and cute. Well, they'd be terrified of my daughter. <laughs> right. Like, I get, like, does that include, like, kids? But they'll eventually, like, grow up. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, but, like, you know, like, people who are, like, you know, hydrophobia, afraid of water. Or, like, there's one where you're afraid of, like, baths. Like, bathing yourself. Um, Hold on. What's that one called? It is called. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm... A, a Blutophobia. Yeah, a bluetophobia. The um, one that a fear of peanut butter sticking on the roof of your mouth. Like, that's just. Sad. Um, papyrophobia. Fear of paper. They yeah. are running away from library, from libraries and bookstores. Uh, I guess so. Uh, phasmophobia. Fear of ghosts. I mean, I kind of get that one. Yeah. Uh, I, mean, I mean, if you believe ghosts are real, I, I kind of get why. You'd be, you'd probably have a fear of them, but you know. Right, typophobia, fear of getting wrinkles. I mean, I can kind of understand that. Russophobia, oh, yeah. fear of Russians. <laughs> Are we still in Cold War or something? I was gonna say it, it's got to be people who were like alive during the Cold War or, or you know, something. It has to be something. Scriptophobia, fear of writing in public. Technophobia, fear of technology. Not a good time to be alive. Right? <laughs> Somnophobia, fear of sleep. Do not have that fear. Nope. I'm looking forward to sleeping. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. Wait, wait, wait. The, oh, I'm going to butcher this, but venustrophobia, fear of beautiful women. Again, subjective. Maybe this is why I don't have a man. They're, they fear me. Maybe. Who knows? I think I found the answer. That, that's it. Damn it. Eh. But, then, but then if I change the way, then, then I'm going to... Contrary or contrariety in general. Wait, what? Yemophobia. Why... M O phobia, fear of being contrary or contrariety in general. Zeusophobia, fear of God or gods. Okay. <laughs> Zeusophobia. Yeah, that one. That that the name of the name itself is like oh. <laughs> that's that's actually uh, that's a good name. It is a good name. I mean, obviously, I do not have this fear, but I. I Feel sorry for the people that do have that fear because they've got, I, I think they've got a lot of uh, religious delusions going on at that point. But we're not um, that. <laughs> yeah. Sclerophobia, fear of bad men or burglars. Only men, though. 
my my gradient has that phobia actually i sort of get that one okay so before we close out as usual uh we have an email address where you can send us questions comments uh criticisms on how to improve our show um you can email us at three fates decide at gmail.com it's the title of our podcast all in one word and the three is spelled out and you can also reach us on instagram at three fates decide the three is spelled out and feel free to send us dms let us know what you think we love feedback Thanks for listening, everyone. Catch us next time. And see what we're going to talk about. Because the three fates decide.